Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. With Word 2013, there's a lot of really cool changes in it versus the previous version of Office. Um, one of the biggest changes is the new template style, the opening interface, and things like that. You'll see a lot of similarities with you know off with Word and PowerPoint and Excel and all those guys. But we're going to start with Word today and kind of show you how to get it up and running, what some of the new changes are, and things like that. So let's get started. All right. We're at the desktop for Windows 8. Let's go ahead and open up Word 2013. We'll click the Windows key on our keyboard. Scroll over to Word 2013. Left click on it. This will bring up the new start screen for Word 2013. On the far right hand side, you will see a bunch of pre made templates. Most of these are from Microsoft. At the very top here, you can search for online templates, or you can use some of their suggested searches that they've already pre created for you to use. Let's go ahead and just open up one of the basic ones. We'll choose this one here. You'll see the name of it at the top, who made it brief description, pictures on the left hand side, and then a create button. Let's go ahead and click on create. And from here, it looks fairly similar to 2010, 2007, and previous versions. You still have your ribbons at the top. You still have all of your tools. It looks slightly different, but everything is still there for the most part of the same exact spot. The next thing we do is, let's say we've already worked on this. Let's go ahead and save it. At the very top left hand side, we'll click file, and we'll click on save as looks a little different here. You have three places to save it to, three main places. You have your SkyDrive, you can save it to your computer, or you can add a different place, a different SkyDrive account, some kind of cloud storage account, things like that. For now, we're just going to go ahead and save it to, your, to my computer, so we'll left click on computer, and let's just save it to the desktop for now. So we'll click on desktop, and this window pops up here, and we'll just get the file name as title, and we'll click save at the bottom, and that is where I saved it. So now we'll go ahead and close out of it here and you'll see our document title is right there. We left click on it, bring it right back up, we continue to work on it. It's pretty much a very basic overview of Word 2013. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.